Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Billboard charting artist Struggle Jennings and his prodigy Caitlin Curtis released the beautiful new duet ballad Fell Out of Love back in March. And this brutally honest ballad about giving up drinking and toxic thinking features Jennings and Curtis in a relatable, uh, sincere chorus that is bound for a crowd swaying area. Swing Arena Sing Along. That's oh, that was right. a long one. It was a good one, though. But plenty <laughs> of information there. And joining us this morning to tell us more about his music and upcoming tour is Struggle Jennings. That's a that's an awfully famous last name too, Struggle. Yeah, brother. <laughs> so tell us a little bit of how you came up with the name Struggle Jennings, because it's interesting for all of us. Yeah. So uh, growing up, my grandfather was Waylon Jennings, of course. And um, but I, I hold a different last name because Waylon was my mother's uh, father. So um, I got the name Struggle probably in the late nineties. Uh, just everything that I was going through, and a lot of my friends. That's just what they started calling me, and it stuck with me. And you know, a lot of people said it was going to be a curse because I was calling the struggle on, but. In hindsight, it was uh, giving me a statement of something to endure and overcome. And uh, it wasn't until 2012 when I talked with the last name Jennings, and that was simply because the news articles and the uh, news outlets, were, I went away, were calling me Struggle Jennings. And so it just, it, it attached and I decided to embrace it. Here I am. We love it. Yeah, it's great. It is great. So y your music is different from uh, some of the other Jennings. Talk about your music. Yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me that a lot of times, and I'm like, you know what? If Waylon would have been born in the 80s and been an 80s baby and grew up in the era of hip-hop, he probably would have been a rapper too, you know? <laughs> uh, rap was what, what I was drawn to. It spoke to me. It spoke to my life, my environment, how I was raised, how I was growing up, and that's just what I gravitated towards. Of course, I always had country in the backdrop being from the South and loving country music. So the early age, uh, I started blending the two genres and just decided I wasn't gonna do it. I was actually one of the first to ever do it. And people told me it was career suicide. Now here we are with a whole new genre. Well, tell us a little bit. What I do find interesting is that you've also performed with some really big names out there. Can you tell us about some of your performances? Yeah, I mean, you know, my best friend Jelly Rose killing it right now. He just won three awards at the CMTs uh, night before last, and that's my best friend of 20 years, and wow. like my brother. And uh, you know, I've done songs with Aunt Lewis and uh, Yellow Wolf is one of my dear friends of 15 years. So I've been blessed to share the stage and share the microphone with some of the greatest. And so you did have a, a duet song recently come out in March. Can you kind of talk about that one? Yeah, so uh, I met Caitlin Curtis in 2020, and uh, well, I met her in 2018, 2019, and I signed her to my label, Angels and Outlaws, in uh, 2020. And, you know, we had the big success of God, We Need You Now, and, you know, just uh, been working on her new album. Got in there and started working in the end of, 2021, we came off the road and both of us were drinking every night on tour and you know, kind of got out of shape again. And we were just like, all the things that come with drinking, you know, the uh, regardless how good I ate, how much I worked out, I just, my body wasn't responding, you know. Uh, and then all that toxic thinking and slipping back into my old way, uh, I just felt it, you know, it was heavy on me. So but I, I made the decision to, cut back on drinking and treat it as cheap meals and you know, have a little drink when I can. But um, I had to change a lot of the things that I was doing at the time, living that rock star life and being on tour and constant meetings and you know everything. There's always alcohol around in this industry. So um, taking that stand and making that decision to better myself and to strive for uh, clarity and better every day better every day and that's what it's all about you've got shows coming up uh, for folks here in kentucky you've got one in louisville coming up and then one later on uh, in the year uh in october here in lexington right oh yeah we're at headliners in uh, louisville in may and then back with jelly roll in lexington 
and that, fall. Sh and that show's October 10th. Well, we appreciate you being on the show here this morning, and uh, best wishes to you and uh, your, your awesome career. Thank you so much, Struggle. Thank y'all so much, and I'll be watching y'all. I've been, uh, I actually spent all morning watching y'all's Instagram, and y'all are amazing. Oh, <laughs> well, well, thank you very Go much. Go ahead and give us a follow then, Struggle. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. I love it. I was watching you uh, all morning waiting on you. So, well, thank you. Uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely be uh, staying in tune. Listen, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll make sure to check you out as well, especially in Louisville and right here on October 11th. Thanks so much. I hope to see y'all. All right, you will. All right, thank you. <laughs>